across the nation. And the question is, will she survive? I don't know. That's a question that only God can answer. I would suggest to you this morning that we could compare our nation to the mighty Titanic. A vessel in her day that was considered unsinkable. Now, where is that unsinkable vessel? It lies on the bottom the depths of the sea unretrievable to this very day. A new vessel which sunk to the very depths of the ocean floor and only artifacts of her existence have been retrieved. So in 1776, a new nation was birthed. It was began by a people who believed in God. Let me say that again. This nation was birthed and founded by a people who believed not only in God, but in the God of this book. Our young people don't get that in school anymore. Her laws, her founding documents, her institutions that were established, they all honored and revered, respected God. Many today are busy negating what our founding fathers established. God's rich blessings in abundance were poured out on this nation. God blessed this nation greatly and as a result she grew to heights, new heights never experienced before. She grew more quickly than any other nation before. She was blessed of God. And what did she become to the world? She became a beacon of hope. She became a light. She became a bastion of freedom. She became, as a nation, the, her people ended up being a barrister of faith. She became a land of unparalleled opportunity where people came and immigrated from all over the world because of the great opportunities that existed in America. There was great growth. There was great success. And eventually she became the envy of the world. She was honored among all nations. And her word meant something. Look at her today. Those of us that have been around a while know that there's a vast difference in this nation today and what it was 50 years ago, 30 years ago. Look at her today. What has happened? Her educational institutions have failed. Her political institution has failed sinking in a sea of godless liberalism. Her scientific institutions have failed. 
And what do they promote today but philosophies, theories, speculation? Her religious institutions have failed in turning away from the truth. And her economy falters as she ever so slowly sinks to the depths of the ocean. America's sinking in case you haven't noticed. And I want you to understand, you're not going to find this in, you're going to find this in very few places. Not going to hear this in many places. Not going to hear it on me in the media. Not going to hear it in the education system. Not going to hear it from the government. This is where you'll find the truth. And I want to say to you this morning that the fools of America are sinking the nation. The fools of America are sinking the nation. And the first thing I want you to understand is that America's educational institutions have been destroyed. America's educational institutions have been destroyed. If you can find a book of truth on American history in the library today, you would discover that the early days of America's founding were very unique. Students were educated. They were taught. They were fed biblical principles. The doors and the windows of America's educational facilities were open to Jesus Christ. Children were taught patriotism. Children were taught a reverence for God. I can remember in the classroom saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. One nation Amen. under God. Amen. The Ten Commandments were placed on the classroom wall. They were revered instead of walked and laughed. Prayer. Reading of the scriptures were encouraged. The flag was to be respected instead of despised, burned, and defamed. Consider America's first colleges and universities. You know why they were established? America's first colleges and universities were established to prepare preachers for ministry. Oh, how far mighty Harvard has fallen. Oh, how far mighty Princeton has fallen. Why? Because she's been overrun by food. These were institutions that Produced some of the world's greatest statesmen. Educational institutions that produce great inventors and scholars and educators and entrepreneurs. Somewhere along the way, something happened. Somewhere along the way, things took a turn for the worse. Somewhere along the way, America veered off course. There was a downward turn as 
somebody began to chant, there is no God. There is no God. Man began to believe that the mighty educational system that had been built in America was a product of his own genius. The result today is a nation full of educated idiots. They refuse to believe that it was really a blessing from God. They took the Bible out of school, out of the colleges, out of the universities. They removed prayer. They banned Christmas. They banned Easter. They removed God from the classroom. They even became hostile towards Christianity. They became hostile toward Jesus Christ. I would have you consider the results this morning. I would have you look across this nation from the east coast to the west coast, from the northern boundaries to the southern boundaries, and consider the consequences. What are our schools today? Places filled with violence and death. Filled with rebellion and sinful practices. What happened? This book tells you what happened. They were ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth because they threw the truth out. All said, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Write it down. God will not be mocked. Come on, preacher. Whatever a man sows, that will he reap. Whatever a nation sows, that Will it really? America's educational institutions have been destroyed. The fools of America are sinking the nation. The second thing I want us to see is this. America's political institution has been destroyed. America's political institution has been destroyed. As we said in our introduction, the founding documents of this nation incorporated biblical principles. Our, our forefathers believed in the providence of God. They believed in the divine intervention of God. Why, they even went so far as to place certain phrases from the Word of God in government facilities. Ten Commandments in courtroom. God was given a place of glory in the preamble to the Constitution and in the Bill of Rights. Her laws reflected morality, sound morals. Her laws reflected ethical conduct and standards that were based on God's Word. She was a great nation. Wonderful nation, a powerful nation, a unique nation, a nation that was greatly blessed of God. But 
along the way something happened. The nation began to forget God. The nation began to ignore the Word of God. The once great nation began to cry, we don't need God anymore. There's no need for God. There's no need for the Bible. There's no need for Christ. There's no need for prayer. You see, they had wised up now. They had become enlightened. They began to throw God out of the public square. The nation turned from her biblical standards. The nation turned from her biblical beliefs. And the next thing you know, the nation made it legal and now even promotes the murder of babies in their mother's womb. A nation that now endorses sexual lewdness, immorality, and iniquity. A nation that has now replaced God with public opinion. A nation that's opened its doors to other gods while turning on and even persecuting Jesus Christ. The result, the result is a nation that is filled with reprobate minds, unable to perceive or comprehend the truth. Turned over for the destruction of the flesh. nation that no longer has God's covering, but a nation that now faces God's wrath. A nation that has long since decided that she no longer needs God. By the government has become God. It's the government now who knows what is best for the people, and apparently many have accepted it. Her leaders are now clothed with immorality, clothed with ungodliness, led by a criminal element on par with organized crime that is definitely of the Antichrist spirit. Amen. Foolish decisions made by fools that put this nation on a downhill side. I would suggest to you that this very day it is the spirit of Antichrist that rules in Washington, D.C. Amen. America's political institution has been destroyed. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The fools of America are sinking the nation. Last, quickly this morning, America's religious institutions have all but been destroyed. Our nation was founded by people who had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It was a place where church buildings were once located in the town square. The church was a place of promise. 
was a place of social energy.